Hello YouTube, Mike the Gambler Guy back at you. Today, I'm feeling a little froggy. So, what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to go into the Regal Castle Baccarat app and we're going to play Froggy. And uh, let's get that set up now. So I go ahead and open up my app. Uh, you can see I'm choosing Froggy. Right, out of all the different uh, methodologies they have in here. Froggy actually uses the derived roads to determine its bet. And it doesn't jump on bets very often, right? So it, it, it does uh, kind of kind of take some time. So I'm okay just letting this one play out here behind me. And the money management system I'm gonna use today, uh, I'm gonna be doing a $25 bet level and I'm gonna be using the Hydra, right? So if we're, if we're looking at the, the bet strategy, now the Hydra would say at a $25 bet, you need a $62,000 buy-in. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use a sixty thousand buy-in because I'm not gonna go seventy steps deep. Um, so remember, only because it says it has that many steps to it doesn't mean you have to go that many steps to it, right? You have the power to choose. I um, also want to point it out that uh, anything in here that's showing a little plus next to it, that means it's going to be a positive progression money management system. So that's it's kind of a cool little tip or trick there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to update that. I'm also going to uh, make sure that my goal is set because at a $25 unit, I only need to have a goal of four units. So in order to do that, not five units, but four units. And uh, let's, I guess let's, let's have an alert at, uh, at 12 units. That's $300. And we can go ahead and update that. Uh, click my back button and here I'm back in the froggy. Click on my little red, uh, little traffic light, turn that red, so now I can do my input. So we've got a player, banker, player, player, player. And so far, the froggy would have lost twice. And I'll tell you, that's not unusual coming right out of the gate. Um, be because it, it needs to uh, figure out what the pattern is that's going on uh, down here below in the derived roads. And if I was... If I was looking at the pattern in this drive road, I'd be saying that it's going to be a, a banker here uh, to continue this going on a, a solo uh, mission. But you'll see Froggy will do back-to-back -back bets trying to determine the strategy. And look, the, the banker did did continue to, to pull that out. Actually, everything's moving down here. So if we had a, um, well, we don't have a red red and there's nothing down here yet in the cockroach uh, road. So as far as a predictive value, this is where you're looking at the predictive value of what you'd think is the, the banker or player as far as how they're going to uh, put a symbol down there on the derived roads after that. That's, that's how those work. If you want to know, you could uh, go back and look at my video on how to, um, how to read the derived roads because that's actually, it's actually good to know that if you're looking for... Um, chaos or a continuation so there we've got a player and now this is actually saying that we're going to put a bet on the player so froggy is jumping off its uh, uh toadstool i guess is what what they sit on right um it's got to jump off its toadstool and said let's play and it, it's looking for uh actually a continuation of this blue circle it's looking for uh, actually a second red here and then a blue over there and so far, we can't lose. We could tie, but boom, there's there's Froggy's first win, right? So so Froggy's got one of the books, um, man, twenty five bucks. It's, 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 you know, if you're playing Froggy, I, don't, I wouldn't play it for a dollar. Um, and the reason I, I wouldn't play it for a dollar is because my bankroll's a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> it can it can withstand withstand a, a, a twenty five dollar bet. Um, and the way that you'll see the Hydra, Hydra will actually take me now up to step two, um, up to a $50 bet. I'm not going to do that. I'm always going to revert back to the base unit uh, just because I'm okay winning $25 a time. I'm actually going to use the Hydra if I need to recover. If, uh, if Froggy starts uh, uh, having some, some sideway jumps um, off that uh, lily pad. Then, uh, then we'll have to figure that out. But uh, you know, right now you can see that, that we do uh, have some waiting that happens. So Froggy does tend to wait, which is fine. Makes it harder in a video, right? <laughs> if, you're, if we're actually trying to play this live, 
it does make that a little bit more difficult. Now we just had a tie. Again, just, just like all these strategies, ties, we don't even mark them down. Oh, I did see I messed up. I've got my red light on up here. Because I need to go back. Three. And we need to mark that as a win. <clears throat> Turn the red light off. Player. 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 Banker. So now we actually have our, our W marked and our one unit. So I was like, oh, I missed that. So that so if that was my screw up, and that's not a bad screw up, Froggy, Froggy gives us the time to go back and, 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 and correct those things. If you want to document it uh, correctly there. All right, Froggy says it's time to jump in. I'm not jumping to the 50. I'm actually backing that up to the uh, to the base step. Now, the last time I had played Froggy, Froggy actually won four in, a, four in a row. Imagine if I was playing the Hydra and I was actually, okay, let's go in and let's play the Hydra. And that would have been $25, $50, $75, $100. That would have been ridiculous. Um, it's actually riskier than, than the way I like to play. Come on, we need no help there. <laughs> got Froggy got the W. That was nice. Thank you, Froggy. Up two units, halfway to our goal in this session. So it doesn't take long. Um, I mean, again, there, there's some waiting, but there's no, there's no butterflies. Not a, not a duck in the water to look calm, calm on the top and the feet are paddling like hell underneath me. That's not having to happen. Just, uh, just, just trusting, trusting Froggy when to jump off the, 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 the lily pad there. Nine to nothing. Wow, that would have paid 30, 30 to 1 on that bonus bat. A lot of times I do like playing the bonus bat. But on Froggy, I mean, I could throw a couple bucks out there, but it's all right. Now, I'm happy with a $25 unit win. Plus, when that, if that tie comes, I'm not, not just getting tagged a little bit. I was playing yesterday, and, and I swear, I couldn't, couldn't. Couldn't miss a tie. <laughs> just kept, they just kept pounding. And that froggy still, still wanting to take a break here. Now looking at the pattern, I would think it would be going for player, but and that's that's really looking at the cockroach road, is what I'm deriving that from. Again, I believe in the energy of the game, and the energy of the game comes out in the card distribution. That's how uh, every once in a while you'll, you'll see that I'll accurately pick a tie. It ain't luck. It's in card distribution because of the energy is coming out in the game. I mean, I obviously got that one wrong, but that's all right. Oh, no, I got that right because it, it, it did go player. Good thing I was, wasn't looking at Froggy was, was jumping on something. Froggy's not jumping on anything. So we got banker. And if you want to learn how to read the derived roads, I certainly have a video on how to do that. So my uh, my play was on a banker here. Got a nine. It's gonna be hard to beat a nine. Player takes that one. And now we've got a a bet on banker. I'm just gonna have to back up back up my hydra. My 70 headed Hydra. That's a lot of heads on Hydra. So here's looking for this to pair. It's also looking for this to pair, which would follow what it did there, but need a little help. Oh, help. Nope, no help. All right, well, we're going to get a second bet. This will be a $50, $50 bet. So it's saying it's going red. Red, drop that down, and red. Right. Don't mind that one at all. Again, looking at the predictor here for a player. Oh, that, that 
<laughs> Ace. All right. Well, well, now we now we sit and wait, but now we know that our next bet is going to be for three units. It's really our recovery unit to get our last two bets back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just ends up being the waiting game. So this one. I was going to make a prediction. I don't know if I was going with Banker there or not. I probably was not going to go with Banker. Because on the Cockroach Pig Road, this one finally broke to uh, to three. This would be going blue. So I'd be going for another Banker here. This is where I'm looking for Froggy to uh, to make my decisions. I don't have to learn how to try to, to guess and read the, the, the bead road. I'm utilizing Froggy to do it. We did. Our banker pulled out. You did notice. Looks like another banker. Yeah, another banker is a strong bet here. And everybody would be going, no, I don't want to go on a banker. Um, actually, we've got 57% of the money. 75 people is on player. That alone probably should tell you to be on banker. <laughs> that People normally get this thing wrong. Four to two. Let's see what the next two cards bring out. because They're both taking one. Four to seven. And banker. Told you, banker hits it again. So now we got player for 75. So this is where we're going to utilize that Hydra to get our money back from our last two losses. And let's see what she's saying. Blue, blue, blue. That's definitely the pattern that's going there. Four would have, would have liked to have been a little stronger than that. Seven. Blue Hill. Five. Perfect. So we got our we got our W and we're going back to our base. Actually, no, I was going to say the Hydra went back to the base, but it, it didn't. Um, when it pops back on, it's going to be up here at, uh, at a $100 bet. Which I'm not gonna make a $25 unit. I will. So remember, if you if you click the R, it reverts you back one. If you hold the R long press, it takes you back to your base unit. So the, the app functionality is uh, is great. And you see, we're currently up two units from those two prior W's because this last W just just regained back what we had lost. Um, looks like. Banker to me, based on the prediction up here and what the pattern is doing, I would expect this to be another banker. So you don't always have to look at the big road, right? If you, if you uh, kind of learn the patterns that are happening down below, um, you, you can also just take advantage of those. So seven, at least we got a strong lead. Not that I haven't lost on a lead before with a seven, uh, but what would have got that seven to zero? So strong, strong, strong. The, the energy is strong with this one. Uh, let's just wait till uh, Froggy. Froggy's looking for another jump. The pattern is saying player, but it's also hitting some resistance. So I would also think uh, this is actually where I'd, I'd maybe bet against what the uh, energy currently is at, and I'd be going for the banker. Bam. Like, why do you even need an app, Mike? Why do you even need an app? You can read the energy. <laughs> I, need, I need an app because the app actually helps me keep stay more disciplined. Um, believe it or not, uh, as a gambler, discipline is always an issue. It is for me. Um, and, and, and this just really helps helps keep me disciplined. No problem with that. When four units over just a little bit of time, I mean, certainly less than, less than an hour. Seven going to hold strong? No, I, I was going to say, it looked like the banker was supposed to win that one, and the banker did. Yeah, see how I just go ahead and single click, it takes me back. Uh, if I were to long press, it would have taken me back to my base. So just, just have that expectation. Here, this is looking at uh, the player is going to pair up on the cockroach pigro. That's my expectation. It's also going to uh, drop down to the next two here, and it's going to continue the red streak there. Darn, that ace um, 
should not be uh, counted in your counting cards. That's that's one you don't count. But nice. <laughs> We're up three units. Up three units. Now it's the waiting game, right? We gotta we gotta sit back and wait. Um, I'd actually expect the oh well. I was gonna say that would pair up, but I would expect this one to go to uh, to red. That would have been a player. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with banker. Banker is my prediction here based on the road. Well, it's a tight race. It's anybody's game. Still, still can be anybody's game. And the banker, banker gets it. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? The drived roads. And even if you don't use the app, learn how to use the drived roads. Read, read the drived roads. What's going on? Be able to read the energy in the moment. This is this should be a player. Got that got that strong strong pair of threes going on there. And a three, and can the player pop a nine over the top here? An eight, just as good. <laughs> so, the, so the player pulls it out. Boom! Use, use those derived roads. And that's why Regal Castle has some different strategy in here that uses the derived roads. Um, you know, they, they, they gave them names like um, Starblaze. Starblaze is one that uses the derived roads to figure out what it's going to bet on. It's not looking at the big road or the bead road. It's looking at the derived roads. Um, it, it's, a, it's a super successful strategy. Just make sure you're finding the, the, the money management that goes along with that. So here I would say it's actually going to be another banker. Banker is what I would expect. And then I think we'll have a... Uh, I think Froggy will jump off the lily pad after this result. So four to two, anybody's game. Four to two stays. Uh, well, again, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get them all. I'm gonna revert back and uh, we're gonna go for our last unit here on the player. So here the player's looking for it to go back to blue Certainly, certainly here that would be my my agreement as well. Um, here we had a hiccup, and here it did it did extend one. So player would be all blue on all the roads, and it <laughs> and it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. So Froggy had done it again. Look, the system goes goes green. It says time to change shoes. You hit your goal. Let's mosey on out. So until next time, Mike the Gambling Guy, I'm out.